Hi, this is Shira Rubinoff. I'm here with Insights in Tech. I'm here with Kurt. Kurt, please introduce yourself to our audience. Tell them who you are and what you do. Sure. Good to see you, Shira. See My name you. is Kurt John, and I'm the Chief Cybersecurity Officer for Siemens USA, a $23 billion business. I'm responsible for our infrastructure as well as the products and solutions that we deliver to customers. Wonderful. Great to have you. Cybersecurity needs to exist well beyond the boundaries of any one organization, as we all know. And cyber threats do not end at their own parameters of any organization. Therefore, the Charter of Trust was formed, as Siemens is one of those members of Charter of Trust. And now that the Charter of Trust is over a year old, how important is it to maintain this Charter of Trust between the organizations, especially in this new environment of remote work? It's incredibly important, Shira. So the Charter of Trust was designed to fill the gap of an absent international standard on cybersecurity. If you look at the companies that are members of the Charter of Trust, we deliver some of the most cutting edge technology to consumers, to business, to governments. Uh, we're part of the critical infrastructure. We're part of people's homes in some cases. And so while we continue to innovate, we fully recognize that we needed to provide um, a platform or a foundation on which we can innovate securely and co-create securely. So the Charter of Trust was really designed to help all of us to focus in on cybersecurity and raise the overall level of cybersecurity within our products and therefore within society. Great. Yeah, very true. And as we know now, cyber threat risk globally is worsening, which possesses potential for severe financial, environmental, and even infrastructure damage. So Kurt, are utilities keeping up with this industrial cyber threat? Unfortunately, Shira, they're not. Mm -hmm. uh, and this can be for a combination of reasons, legacy systems, cybersecurity is a relatively immature field, um, lack of resources. Uh, so one of the things that, that Siemens does to help address this is that uh, each of our products has a certain standard of cybersecurity. We enable security by default in, in, in most of our products um, so that customers actually have to disable it when they install it and start to use it. Um, we also uh, advise utilities and also have services that we help utilities sort of get their bearings when it comes to cybersecurity. Um, and not just Siemens, I'm sure other companies are doing this as well. Uh, one of the things that we all have to focus on are those utilities and other members of the critical infrastructure uh, community, because these are the types of technologies and systems that are enabling you and I to have this conversation, um, that uh, enable the lights to stay on so that healthcare workers can focus on battling this COVID-19 crisis. And so um, while utilities aren't there yet, uh, I'm proud to see the activity within the cybersecurity community um, as a whole in trying to address those security concerns. Great. Well, we've seen cyber attacks uh, against cities, infrastructures, hospitals, school systems across the board. What would you say are some top elements that they could focus on at this point to be, be safe from these types of attacks? What those organizations should do is really zero in on what uh, we like to call the golden nuggets. What are the most critical things that enable them to continue to deliver their value uh, to their customers and to society? Okay. Uh, once you've identified those things, then that's where you can spend your limited resources. Um, in addition, uh, we really need to continue to help employees understand that they're the most critical part of cybersecurity. Because while technologies and cybersecurity continue to advance, and, and we're happy they, they do continue to advance, um, it is still the human being that uh, can allow quick access or unauthorized access to a secure network. So education of our employees uh, is incredibly important. Of course, I think that lends itself to we talk about all the time. There's the people, the process, and the technology. You could have the best technology in the world, but if the people aren't dealt with appropriately and have the right uh things that they need to be secure and the glue in between the process, all three working together symbiotically, we're going to have big trouble. So that's a very good point. Thank you for that. Now we really need to talk about a uh, future of work when it comes to industry, when it comes to education or um, IOT, OT, 
How is this all going to look going forward? It's going to be really interesting, Shira, because I believe before remote work, remote learning was sort of an alternative. Um, if you couldn't get into the office or get to school or your life was too hectic, I think as um, the companies who produce uh, collaboration platforms continue to innovate and change the way remote work and remote learning uh, feels uh, and to become more in-person-like, I, I think you're going to see a, 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 a quick movement towards that. And we in the cybersecurity cyber community, what we need to do is to enable that type of shift, seismic shift, in a secure way so that people who are working from home or learning from home uh, can do so resting assured that their information and the company's information remain secure. Yeah, very good points. And as much as we're going to get to the new norm, the new norm is not going to look like the old ways it used to be. And we'll certainly shift from this total remote work. But again, it's important to look toward the future and how to really have the right protocols in place, the right security in place, the right digital transformation of sharing across all elements to be cyber secure together and work together hand in hand. Agreed. So, Kurt, thank you so much for your time. Thank you, Shira. And we look forward to speaking to you again soon. Sounds good. Take care. Yeah.